Hello, this is Ryuichi Sakamoto. Paula Morellenbaum. Oh, Jacques Morellenbaum. You're, You're watching, watching sessions, sessions at, at A O L. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Uh, the occasion is the release of the new album Casa from Sony Classical, a collection of songs of uh, of Antonio Carlos Jobim. Recorded in the late composer's house. Now, I, I know the beginnings of this project, uh, Jacques, go back several years, right? To 1995? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe uh, the beginning of this project is, uh, goes a lot farther, like uh, maybe 30 years ago when, <laughs> when Ryuichi was still living in Japan and uh, he, <laughs> he began to listen to the music of Antonio Carlos Jobim. And while, while I was in Brazil, at that time only listening to, the, to rock and roll and classical music, he was listening to Bossa Nova in <laughs> Japan. So this uh, surprised me a lot uh, when I met him to know that. Ryuichi, I wonder if you could tell me um, you know, your first impressions on standing at the threshold of Antonio Carlos Jobim's house and what your feelings were as you entered his house for the first time. Well, Jobin was a, uh, was a, like um, our guru, master. Um, <clears throat> so entering, walking into his house is, is like, um, you know, walking into a temple for me. And even, you know, touching his piano, you know, playing his piano is almost forbidden. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, I felt I was like an apostle. Ryuichi, was there, was there anything unique about the piano in your mind when you first laid eyes on it? Well, um, well the piano itself isn't a very special one. Uh, it's a very small baby grand of Yamaha. But, you know, it is unique. Um, you know, probably the instrument observed the vibration from the master and you know, it reflected the Jobin's sense of harmony somehow. Uh, so it's, it has a very unique sound. And it's, it's very strange. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine that being in the house of Jobim and recording his songs and recording them on his piano, that you would have the sense that he was with you in these recordings. Can you shed some light on that? Well, um, so we got um, everything, you know, all the equipment and the piano and the mics you know, ready for the recording. And we, start, we started rehearsing first song, then we were ready to record, actually record uh, the first track. Then at the end of my piano solo of this first, first recording, uh, suddenly a bird was kind of crying, shouting, or smiling, yeah. or, I don't know, laughing. Laughing, yeah. Maybe laughing, yeah. Well, you know, we got a um, very sharp uh, sound of the bird, <laughs> like this. So we were wondering that was Jobim, because uh, he wanted to be a bird after his death. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like, uh, you know, if Jobin said something, hey, Ryuji, this is my piano. <laughs> <laughs> a little jealous? Get out of it. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> or or uh, play, play it gently, tenderly. Yeah, but, but well, in my, in my view, if, he, if it was him, I would say he was saying, wow, the music, you can do the music like I think. Yeah. Yes. I thought the same. Uh, ah, you are again playing my, my, my music, and yeah. I'm very glad, you know. Yeah, it's mm. not fair to have this piano with nobody yeah. playing it, you know. What was it about the essence of the artistry of Jobim that you feel has made his song so lasting? Well, I would say many aspects, but uh, maybe the most important is uh, his sense of minimalism. Especially the way um, he played the piano is definitely less is more. Yeah. Kind of Thelonious Monk has the same sense. Maybe. 
but uh, even less. <laughs> yes. <laughs> less notes. Um, <clears throat> you know, it sounds like uh, almost Zen to me. <laughs> yeah, his music and uh, his way of uh, play. When did you really know that piano playing was what you wanted to do, that uh, the piano would be your main instrument for the rest of your life? Well, I was a lazy student. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Jack was. <laughs> um, That's why I'm laughing. So <laughs> I couldn't decide, you know, uh, being a musician is my, you know, uh, lifetime job uh, until I was almost 30 years old, <laughs> really. I, I was already in the band of Yerumachiko Orchestra. Mm -hmm. but, but I thought, like before that, I thought I could be a novelist, I could be a mathematician. Actor? No, yeah. I, I, I hated to be actor. <laughs> but you are a great actor. Yeah. No, no, Merry no. Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, is uh, my I hated favorite it. movie. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway. So, <clears throat> you know, I was trying not to decide, you know, my, my occupation for a long time. Um, the, I didn't want to belong to any organization or something. I, I just want to be an indiv individual. So, you know, I never thought I'm, I'm a pianist. Uh, I'm not uh, that good. <laughs> Ryuichi Sakamoto, Paolo Morellenbaum, Jacques Morellenbaum, the album they've uh, just released on Sony Classical is called Casa, treating the songs of Antonio Carlos Jobim. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.